So let me tell you a little story about the dangers of knowing it all. Over 200 years ago, we had the great French Revolution, and many people lost their heads to the guillotine. Well, one day, there were three gentlemen about to lose their head to the guillotine. There was a priest, a lawyer, and a theoretical physicist, just like Paul and me. So they put the priest's head on the chopping block, and they asked him, do you have any last words before we cut your priestly head off? And the priest said, yes, yes, I have some last words. And he said, maybe God, God from above, surely he will set me free. Well, all eyes were on the blade. The blade rose, and the blade fell, swish, and it stopped right before it hit the neck of the priest. Well, the god had never seen this before. Magic, they said. God has spoken, the mob said. Let the priest go. And now let's see about the lawyer. Yes, the lawyer. Now the bloodlust was really starting. Yes, the lawyer. We want his head. So they asked the lawyer, do you have any last words? And he said, yes. He said, maybe justice. Yes, the spirit of justice shall set me free. Well, all eyes were on the blade. The blade came down, swoosh, and it stopped right before it hit the neck of the lawyer. Well, the crowd was amazed, dancing in the streets of Paris. They said, let there be a holiday. God has spoken. Justice has spoken. And now let's see about that theoretical physicist. So they put the physicist's head on the chopping block, and they asked him, do you have any last words before we cut your physicist's head off? And he said, yeah, yeah, I got some last words. And he said, you know, I don't know too much about God, and I know even less about the law, but I do know one thing. If you look up, you'll see that the rope is stuck on the pulley. <laughs> and then he said, if you remove the rope, the blade should come down real good. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. Well, the rope came down, the blade came down, and the poor physicist's head came down. And it just goes to show you that sometimes we physicists have to know when to keep our mouths shut. 